The ISS is the largest research station in space, but that could change. Before I begin, welcome to Power the Future and please like and subscribe. China is now one of the largest space-bearing countries. They have sent many astronauts to space and have their own research hub on the ISS. They did this for over a decade, but after human rights violation and national security concerns in China from 2010 to 2011, their privilege to access the ISS was banned. This put a massive strain on the country's space research and development and have wanted to get back into the field ever since. China has sent many satellites and human shuttles to space, but to fully comprehend the mysteries of space and its effect on humans and plants, they must have a proper research lab. In April of 2021, they started construction and used many rockets launches to fly the very first pieces to low Earth orbit. Finally, after a year and a half and 11 launches, the space station is complete. It is the Tiangong Space Station. This station orbits at an incredible speed of 7.7 kilometers per second or 27,648 kilometers per hour. It does not have a perfectly circular orbit like the ISS, that always orbits at 400 kilometers above sea level but fluctuates between 340 kilometers and 450 kilometers. It is only 100 tons, which is not even close to the ISS's incredible 500 tons. This makes it five times smaller than the ISS and around the same size as the Russian station Mir. But how would this station bring the most astronauts to space in history? At this very moment there are two male astronauts and one female astronaut aboard the Tiangong. They will stay for a few months and be replaced by another relief team. But the big question still needs to be answered. How will it bring the most people to space ever? The Tiangong space station is not going to be like the ISS. It is going to focus on one of the most cutting-edge technologies that will require many astronauts. This is the ION engine. This engine is completely different from traditional chemical engines and could be the future of space travel. An ION engine is a propulsion system that uses xenon gas and electricity to push a spacecraft. If you would like me to go more into how the engine works, tell me in the comment. This new space technology will require many astronauts and ground crew to complete which is one of the reasons so many will step foot on the Tiangong. This station is not only going to be the lead space research base in rocket technology, but also the effects of space on humans, animals, and plants. These are crucial to future missions to Mars and beyond. The ION engine will get us to Mars faster than a chemical engine, but we still need to understand what long exposure to space does to things from Earth. This new station could be the future of space travel and one day take us all around the universe. I hope you learned something about the Tiangong Space Station. Please like and subscribe and thank you for letting me power the future.